And we're live. Welcome to the Sprint 12 review, Sowing the Seeds of Trust. And let's just get right into it. Uh, this was an amazing, this was an amazing sprint. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we ended up uh, really memeing hard this sprint. And I think for me, that's kind of the theme is how hard could we meme on all of the things. I'm still trying to share screen here. So uh, I want to start by saying thank you. We are so humbled by the support that we've received uh, with the com through the Trusted Seed. Uh, the Common Stack Association has ended up gathering uh, over fifty-five thousand dollars so far from Trusted Seed members. Uh, don't uh, contributions for their membership dues. Thank you so much. Uh, we've actually given away so far ten thousand dollars of membership uh, scholarships. Uh, thanks, thanks to your generosity. And we're also going to be able to start using these funds to, to push this project forward. I wanted to say that uh, many of you may not know this, but actually every membership dues that you pay is uh, traceable on, on, the, on the Give It Trace platform. And if you wanted to also take credit like uh, Gustav here from Near Protocol has, you can add your name to our, our uh, wall of fame here, our leaderboard. Uh, which has 86 trusted seed members on it, and uh, and then we can all uh, shine. We can all share in your glory, uh, and especially the people who are donating so much, like this anonymous donor who gave us twelve thousand dollars. Wow! Uh, another big thing that happened this this uh, this sprint was uh, really demystifying the common simulator. I mean, uh, Lauren and Vitor uh, and the rest of the common simulator team did a great job at uh, memeing the the as much as they could about the the background information about the common simulator so if you want to understand what is going on and have fun while you do it uh please don't be shy check out this uh this this post it's part one of a series that explains all the stuff that's going on in the background but what's really cool is we took the common simulator and now we're doing it for real the hash dashboard is uh just steps away we're doing our last quality uh testing on this we're going to put a video right here uh, up at the top that will show people how to how to choose parameters for the token engineering commons. And this this is a common stack project that will be reused for all the commons uh, that come forward where they'll be able to design. This is the hash configuration dashboard uh, that will be used for future commons as well. This is the MVP version. We're using kind of a iffy software called Panel uh, that we want to uh, uh, totally redo for other commons. Uh, but this is really cool. You can uh, change change the impact hour rate and run simulations. And if you make a low, if you make bad decisions, we can even uh, give you a warning and uh, say, "Hey, uh, that's too much or that's too little." Uh, and I think we meme the warnings here, uh, right in here. And uh, you can use this now to actually. Uh, submit it to Gitcoin, and, or sorry, submit it to GitHub and then be voted on with token log. And that should start next week. So get ready to start proposing parameters. And also uh, major progress with the TEC. Uh, we had our uh, test hatch demo. Uh, we successfully raised 19 wrapped X die. Oh my gosh, it was four times the minimum goal. It was huge, huge. Thank you for your support. Uh, we are, this week we'll be voting for the hash upgrade as part of this demo. And this is uh, really critical. If, if this demo succeeds, then we will have no problems launching within probably about a month on the, at least on the technical side. Of course, there's many other things that could slow us down on the cultural side and the legal side and all of these things, but we're looking really good. And so with that, I'll pass it to Tam to talk about the, uh, I believe it's Tam. Yep. Oh, spoiler alert. Uh, continue. Give me one moment. All right. So, sowing the seeds of trust we got from this little. Okay, sowing the seeds of trust. Okay, speaking about the seeds of trust, um, 
I got a comment today from somebody who said she wasn't even alive when that song was made. And I just want to say you didn't miss anything. <laughs> if you weren't in the 80s, it just nothing, nothing happened then. This is actually the greatest time to be alive. Uh, talking about the seeds of trust, um, the TEC, the first community to use the common stacks designs design pattern. Um, we have spoken with over 70 soon to be hatchers who have totaled a soft commit of 335 thousand die. Um, so we are continuing our outreach quite aggressively trying to make sure we uh, speak to everyone and communicate why what the TEC is and what the TEC's goals are and how to become a hatcher. Uh, we're trying to make the process a little bit easier so we've made a little diagram about this, uh, this two-phase hatch process and also you can check out Griff's article on the step-by-step -step guide to become a founding member of the TE Commons. And with that, I will pass to Livia. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, I don't think nothing will slow us down in the cultural side, like Griff just mentioned. And let me share my screen because there's so much happening, and we are in the in the fine lines of choosing our mission, vision, and values, which is a, a big cultural step for us to know what is the direction we're taking collectively. So this has been a really fun process and we have a few submissions already, but they're not enough. So we're waiting for your submission also. And it's super easy to make one. You just have to click on new issue. You see a template coming up that you just have to click here, get started. And you can answer these questions. And there are simple questions. Uh, if you need help on how to start, you can um, you can come here on this blog post, mission, vision, and values. It's going to be linked to this to this uh, YouTube video. And here we have an overview explanation. And what was the former vision, vision, and values we had decided first? So you can iterate on them, uh, pick the parts that you like. Pick the parts of other people's submissions that you like and make your own. And if you want to understand how token log works, uh, Mitch made this amazing post that explains the quadratic voting and, and what happens once you vote on, on the mission vision values that are already here. And you can vote uh, if, you have, um, if you have impact hour tokens and the CSTAC score. So most of you that are probably listening to this call can come here and vote and anyone can propose. And we got uh, an interesting provocation this week that is, is this a theater process? Are we, are we doing this kind of like just to show off that we're having a, a governance process or this is actually open and there are multiple people participating into it? So um, yeah, maybe share your ideas in, in this tweet in this tweet and also if you're interested about contributing and being a part of deciding what is the mission of the token engineering commons um, to submit an issue on token log. And finally, we have um, a survey from Omega Working Group uh, led by Shabnan. And uh, this is basically to understand what is the ethos of token engineers. And if you are a token engineering, we really a token engineer, we really want to hear from you. So there are very uh, easy questions here of uh, what is your background, where do you come from, and what is a little bit of your work and expertise environment to help us move forward with more ethical questions in the future. And with that, I'll pass to Chris. All right. Yeah, so uh, not a whole lot to uh, share uh, visually on the call, but I can talk a little bit about what I have been working on for the sprint. So one of the things uh, I've been grateful to our various contributors uh, assigning me different uh, things to link our URLs, our domain names to. Uh, it's given me a chance to get better at uh, changing all our DNS settings. Uh, so thank you for that. And with that, we have a new TE Commons website deployed uh, yesterday. Um, it has been changed from a WordPress site to a Netlify deployment, which is, yeah, just a lot more, um, a lot better for a lot of different reasons. 
Um, so we're excited to have the new site launched. Uh, in Discord, uh, our CollabLand bot is now working uh, to assign different trusted seed roles, both general trusted seed as well as your level. So whether that's a sea stack shrimp, uh, whale, or uh, squid. So uh, I will be creating, making the channel public uh, to be able to claim that role and giving a little bit better instructions. So hopefully uh, in the coming days, we'll get uh, all of our trusted seed members claiming those roles and uh, basically troubleshooting any issues. So uh, if you're in our Discord uh, already, uh, look for that and please uh, utilize it. If you're not in Discord yet, uh, what are you waiting for? Join us, get in there and uh, uh, join the community. Uh, we've also uh, spent some time talking about how to improve our contributor flow. So there's improvements coming to that uh, process. If you have ideas for how we might uh, improve that, please let us know. We'd love to take our, uh, our contributors' um, thoughts into uh, that process and work it in. Uh, our Twitter and Discord engagement are both growing, which is really nice to see. And I've been able to join a few more uh, small contributor calls to help answer questions, as well as get more praisers. We always can use more people dishing out praise for uh, where you see their uh, people adding value to our systems and our communities. So um, if you're interested in uh, getting that praise role, we do a call every Wednesday morning, I guess morning for PST, uh, depends on your, uh, your time zone. Check our calendar. It's in our. Uh, it's in the shared trusted or shared, sorry, the shared common stack uh, calendar. So, uh, check out there. Um, we also on the common stack calendar have a meme party every Friday. So we this sprint we were particularly productive. I thought we generated a ton of memes. Uh, so if and yeah, they're just a lot of fun. So if you haven't joined us uh, for a meme party. Definitely get in the Discord voice channel. We got the Groove bot going. We got people hanging out. We got cool meme ideas just flowing. So join join us. Uh, we'd love to have you. We'd love to make some uh, creative memes together. Um, and uh, lastly, on a personal note, my move to this new location is complete. I've got a new background. So uh, yeah, and this uh, at this place, I've got a little uh, separate office. So I'm hoping to be able to increase my productivity. Um, at this sprint, I wasn't as uh, productive. I didn't have as many outputs um, as a result of this move. So um, yeah, really hoping to increase my productivity next sprint and uh, yeah, be able to get more engaged with all of you uh, on a more, more regular basis. So. Uh, that's it for me this sprint, and I will pass to Jess. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, that was a really fun meme party. I think that was maybe a record. We, we had a lot of the meme juices were flowing. Um, so yeah, for me, working across a lot of different projects right now, um, one of the main things I worked on this sprint was having some nice graphics to show the process easily, because we know how busy you all are of joining the Trusted Seed, so the benefits here um, and then how to join in three steps and then kind of a context page. So we have those to share and then uh, helping to share the article written by um, Zargum on engineering ethics in web three, a really interesting piece if you have a chance to check it out. And he's talking about how, um, yeah, the, in traditional engineering is a social institution uh, that that helps to kind of protect the, the public. Um, so how we can carry this into Web3. So if you get a chance to check out that piece, that's really interesting, has some great uh, academic research links uh, if you want to go a little bit deeper. And then uh, we had the CAD CAD community call uh, this week, which uh, was Angela Kreitenweiss from TE Academy, uh, Ethic Hub, Andrew Shanich uh, Vasily, and crew who were presenting their simulations on balancer pools. It was really interesting work. If you want to check it out, we have that video on YouTube, um, on the CAD CAD YouTube, I should say. So that was a really neat presentation that went very deep uh, into how they went about this work and what are kind of the next steps in, um, in modeling uh, balancer pools. And then on that note, I actually am in the middle of and started taking the CAD CAD EDU course myself. So uh, it's a little intimidating for me because I'm not a coder, but I thought just want to learn more um, because it's really important to understand um, the modeling. And luckily, there is a 
TEC Token Engineering Commons uh, initiative that was started by, by Blair V to have a CAD CAD bootcamp. So to kind of keep you accountable, I know I've been wanting to do this course for months, but it's really helpful to just have like a crew that you can touch in with. So if you can go there on fr every Friday, noon EST, um, and even Sean Anderson, one of our uh, superstar coders is there to help people along. He's a really great teacher. So that's um, a nice resource. And you can check that out in the TEC Labs channel um, if you want to learn more. And people are sharing links, uh, research in there. So jump in. And the, I should say the CAD CAD EDU course is free. So um, yeah. And then in the ecosystem uh, development and, and supporting some different initiatives across our community, there is a huge event coming up with NEAR Protocol and MetaGov, a governance challenge and hackathon. So it kicks off with a, an event May 14th. So we'll, we'll be sharing more as it gets closer um, and having some of our own CommonSec team presenting on some of the governance uh, research that's been happening. Um, and then, yeah, I've got some pieces in the works. I've been head down writing and trying to, to get them out hopefully next week. One on uh, polycentric governance, stakes.social piece. Um, stakes.social is a really cool platform if you haven't checked it out where you can stake, uh, earn for yourself. And also you can uh, stake and some of that money can go to the common stack community. So uh, gas prices have been super high, but now they're low. So I can hopefully finish that piece. And yeah, and then we're going to have also a piece coming out about common stack. What, what can we expect for 2021? So with that, I will pass it to Jeff, who had uh, something huge come out this past week after a, a year of work. So Jeff, if you want to share more about your academic paper that just dropped and it's a great read. Oops, stop sharing. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the challenges and approaches to scaling the global commons finally dropped. Um, it is now hosted on the Frontiers website. Um, we pulled a quick, uh, the abstract into this quick article so you can uh, find it and get to it. This is a really exciting paper uh, written between the Commons stack, uh, the Commons engine, which is a hollow chain project, uh, the Economic Space Agency, the P2P Foundation, as well as a number of prominent uh, academics. And you guys have heard about this a few times now. The paper is now live. You can come check it out uh, at this link here and we'll drop the link uh, down below as well. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty crazy sprint of publishing. Um, a lot of uh, unexpected pieces came out, a big token engineering piece on Rye essentially. So uh, Rye, for anyone who doesn't know, is one of the first um, self-indexed uh, stable coins or low volatility coins anyway. Uh, basically applying control theory to cryptocurrency mon monetary policy. This was all done in CAD CAD um, with a PID controller. This is a very deep dive article if you're interested in the depths of um, how to use CAD CAD to stress test and shock test and um, you know do all sorts of um, yeah, analysis on how these systems respond uh, in models before we deploy them in, in real world systems. Um, and also how we get them from models to safe deployments in real world systems, talking about um, deploying small, iterative, uh, low cap uh, models, like sort of mini uh, systems before we deploy uh, at full scale. Um, so a lot of the insights from block science in how to uh, go about um, launching a you know, financial system, a complex system uh, it, with uncertainty. And the piece was actually so big, it uh, spurred two spin-off pieces. So it's been a pretty busy publication week. We have another piece on what, it, what does it take to optimize a complex system and another one on performing parameter selection under uncertainty. So a ton of content uh, out from uh, block science and the, and the token engineering of, of Rye ecosystems and also generalizing as much as possible. Um, the aim from block science is, is very often to educate people around how we choose uh, these parameters, how we go through this process, uh, because ultimately we want more, more projects to be using these tools and these processes to launch uh, safe ecosystems and some pretty cool um, visuals and, and concepts in these as well. So please feel free to, to come and check them out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for, for this sprint. Um, just a bunch of publishing on my end. Um, and yeah, excited to dig into more uh, for next sprint with some of those drafts that, that Jessica was showing just before. Um, and I believe, uh, Dan, you are next up on our sharing list. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I am next. 
So, hey guys, uh, kind of like a crazy stream, but uh, let, let's go with some tales from the Trusted Sea journey. Uh, oh, sorry, got somebody coming. I'd be right when, I, when I'm speaking, but anyway, basically, March was a crazy month. We had 95 submitted applications to the, to the Trusted Sea. That's, I mean, <laughs> that, I, I think that's a record so far. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people, of course. We had Gitcoin grants uh, round nine happening. So that got a little probably a little bit crazy, uh, but this also pours out into other processes as, and things that are happening. So for example, so far we had 75 Trusted Seed membership activation. Can you believe what beautiful is that? And of course, how many successful applicants are there in, in we think about all, all of these people? So 481 successful applications so far. So that means there is a lot of room to grow like a, a little bit over 400 people show the steel at the bay. And you guys can, I mean, we have the scholarships, we have the whole process there. And yeah, it's a good moment to activate. And uh, let me show you something real quick. I don't have much to show today, but, oops, okay, oh my God. Well, you can see the emails we have. Yeah, we send a lot of emails, <laughs> but these are getting very specific. So when people activate, now they get this beautiful email that ID helped me out put together. So now this email is, is coming out to your inbox says when you activate. So there's some CS love there. And just as well, if you're thinking about, okay, did I, did I apply already? Am I already, you know, a successful applicant of the trusted seed? Is this the address uh, that I apply with? I don't know. So we had these calls, the Trusted Seed Office hours on Tuesdays. This is at noon EST. So you can come ask these questions. Otherwise, you can always reach out to me. Uh, this over here, Knox Dow, it's my handle across the board. So you can find me on Discord. You can find me on Telegram. You can find me on Twitter. And I can help you outsource these kinds of questions. Like, you know, what is your address that you apply with? If you are thinking that maybe did you apply, you probably have. So just come to these spaces, chat with me, I'll help you out. And just as well, we had this, another call on Thursday. Uh, this is a, oh, I had the praise on boarding. I was, this is a beautiful one happening on Wednesday with Chris. And I, I know they're there with him, but just as well, I'm not gonna look up for it, but anyway, just as well, let me start sharing. We had a contributor sync. Uh, let me tell you a story from the Trusted Seed community. So something fun happened, like some of the guys got together, they started chatting up, like, you know, like there is a lot of resonance and great vibes across the community and a lot of shared purpose. So we had some, some community coming over and some fun, something fun happened. One of them hired somebody that they met on a call. Mm -hmm. Can you believe about the beautiful matchmaking that and, and weaving of these networks and beautiful signups that is happening in this kind of spaces. So just come over, chat, bring a friend that you want to introduce to a trusted seed, to the common stack. You want just to get to know what's happening here. And yeah, just share. Anyway, we gave it back to you, Griff. Go, Thank go, you. Go. It was an amazing, it was an amazing sprint. And I really appreciate, you know, uh, the team here. We get to share the limelight here, but I want to just dish praise to Ivy, who's always keeping us organized on every front. I, uh, and she's a major piece of the core team. And beyond the core team, we, we have so many contributors that made all of these things possible. We really deserve barely any of the credit for this. Christopher made the TE Commons website happen. Just major praise to him for helping out on so many levels. Uh, major praise to Wesley and Jake for pushing uh, token log forward and, and all of our efforts there. Huge praise to Vitor, Fabio, Santi, and Jake for the config the Hatch Config Dashboard and soon the Commons Config Dashboard. And also Lauren and Vitor, major praise for working so hard on the simulator blog post. And then of course the Commons Swarm, Sem, Paulo, Gabby, Fabi, and, and, and the rest of the team for pushing the, the actual smart contracts that we're going forward with. And then of course Zargum, we wouldn't be here without Zargum and his thought leadership in TE in general, but also especially on token engineering ethics. And then Blair, Danilo, and YGG for working so hard to share CADCAD to the world. And of course, uh, Eduardo and Jake for helping uh, the rest of us get this uh, Hatch outreach going forward to get us across these major thresholds that we've done. Uh, it was an amazing sprint and a, a huge community effort. So thank you all for helping us out. And also thank you for uh, reviewing it with us. We'll, uh, we'll see you in two mm -hmm. weeks. Bye, everyone.